Will Cortana ever return in Halo Infinite's DLC? I mean, let's be real, anything is possible with 343 and with Infinite. With the game itself leaving so many cliffhangers and having so many additional questions around the story in general, I think the DLC 1 will make our jaws drop with the way they take this series. Not just because of the direction the 343 take the story, but I do think something big is going to happen, and just something that's going to shock the fan base a heck of a lot. For example, taking it back to the likes of Halo 3, where loved characters like Miranda Keys and Johnson were killed off, and even Captain Keys from Combat Evolved being killed in literally the same game. The Halo universe loves to send these characters out with a bang, and be a little controversial at times, even if that does mean killing some fan favourites off screen. <coughs> the Rookie Cortana is a fan-loved character, there's no doubt about that at all. She's been around since the start of it all, battled through thick and thin with the player and the Master Chief. But myself and a lot of people do think that her story should now be over, and that she's overstayed her welcome in some way in the Halo universe, due to the direction that 343 has taken the story. I think the limelight should now be on the weapon and the Chief's journey, 110%. But there are still a lot of moving parts in Cortana's story that does still live on in the Halo universe and the overall lore, even if she's not a main part in the storyline. So today, we're going to go into a bit of detail as to why Cortana will probably be back in some capacity capacity in the future of Halo Infinite's DLC, some theories on how I think she will return, and just how she will play a role within the storyline of Halo Infinite's DLC. As mentioned, she may not play a main role in the plot going forward, but that doesn't mean that she won't be in the game at all, referenced or even showing up at times. If you do go on to enjoy this video, please do consider dropping it a like, it'd be very much appreciated, and subscribe if you're brand new for more content coming each and every single day, and if you want to be notified when a video does go live, be sure to ring that notification bell, it'd be very, very much appreciated. But without further ado, you guys, let's get straight into the video. So before we get into any of the points, I just want to play the final cutscene with Cortana and I want to break it down a little bit because there are some very interesting parts within that scene that if you do break it down and look at it from another angle, it could show that maybe Cortana will be back in some capacity. And, and if you do listen closely, it pretty much confirms that Cortana will still play a part in the Halo universe in some capacity or other. Now, there's always that one set of people that moan and say, oh, just forget about Cortana, her story's over, etc, blah, 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 blah. But for me, it's inevitable that she's going to be mentioned and still have a role within the Halo universe. She was a huge part in the last five main Halo games and even multiple different written novels. She will not just be excluded from the law now and never ever mentioned again. So this video is discussing how she will be mentioned going forward, how she will be shown and how she will potentially come back. I just wanted to mention it out there for those wet wipes that I know will comment down below that exact thing. So anyway, on to the breakdown. They couldn't decrypt it in time. It's okay. You'll figure something out. Of course I will. I'm... They'll pair you with another AI. Maybe even another Cortana model, if Halsey lets them. It won't be me. But you know that, right? But that doesn't matter. It's just another echo. She's right, John. Just another echo. Sorry, I'm messing with you. I just had a feeling that's what she would say. Do you see what I see? So much potential. I'm sorry. I didn't have long to plan this. A few milliseconds, really. I hope it worked out. Look at us. We just keep saying goodbye, don't we? But this isn't an end. It's a chance to make amends, to rectify mistakes. And it starts here. I was wrong. I thought that I could do this on my own. But I forgot that the whole point of all of this, the entire reason that I chose you in the first place was that we were supposed to be a team. Perfectly suited, perfectly matched, perfectly perfect. In these final moments, I know what my last mission is. I need to make sure you two learn from my mistakes, become stronger because of them. I chose well, Master Chief. I really did. Now, 
It's up to you. Are you all right? Okay, so one of the main things I wanted to point out, of course, which is something that I'm sure that everyone's noticed, is the way that Cortana looks and her form in the ending cutscene. Now, this is the form of Cortana before she actually entered the domain and before she was a part of it and before she became crazy and, and formed the created army. Whereas in all of the other cutscenes, she had access to the domain and she took her other form, which you'll see on screen right now, which is the one from Halo 5 and throughout the cutscenes in Halo Infinite. It's very interesting to me because it can mean a couple of different things. Number one, meaning that she doesn't have access access to the domain anymore which surely means that she's gone for good right as that was essentially what was keeping her from going fully rampant like is she was in halo 4 but again any other law nerds out there that can specify this point yeah leave it in the comments would be very much appreciated number two she's realized that the domain is sending her power mad and as we hear towards the end of the game as we're going up the lift to go to the silent auditorium and into the actual auditorium itself she realizes that it is her fault that the chief had died because of her actions and destroying Doisak, as Atriox said, within that cutscene. So she's now somehow separated herself from the domain, and this was a message recorded and left for John just before she had died. It'd be very interesting to know that if the explosion or the blast at the end of when Cortana did sacrifice herself was something to do with the domain, it'd be very interesting to understand that as well. And to understand why she's took the form that she was previously known in, is that just because that's the form that 343 wanted to represent her as that she's now sort of surrendered herself, she's sacrificed herself, so she's in a more vulnerable form, whereas the form before, which is the one where she's in the domain, she is going batshit crazy, she is a part of the created she's the leader of the created that's the form that they want her to be known as when she was leading that army full force i don't know the reasons behind it but again let me know what you think down below number three i'm thinking way too far into it and she's probably just able to switch between the two although i do think the second one does is very plausible but the main part of the trailer is what i wanted to refer back to and it's this but this isn't an end it's a chance to make amends, to rectify mistakes. And it starts here. This isn't an end. It's a chance to make amends, to rectify mistakes. And it starts here. The amend Cortana is referring to is the overall conflict against humanity in the UNSC. She helped them regain their way back into the war against the banished by killing their leader in the explosion and destroying the ring and preventing them from taking control of Zeta Halo. Also, she wanted to make amends with the Chief to rectify all the mistakes that she had won, led to him floating in space for six months, which subsequently made the UNSC lose the war, not to mention all of the countless innocent lives that were lost due to her actions and overall power greed. As she said, it isn't an end, and she wants to rectify her mistakes and make amends, and it does start here. And it starts with a chief, as we can see in that cutscene. So for me, that's extremely open to interpretation. It starts here. I could imagine refers to her and the chief as that's the conversation ongoing. What else does that entail? Does this mean that she's still alive in some way? And in future DLC, she'll try to regain the trust of the UNSC or humanity. It's kind of far-fetched, to be honest, but it's definitely something that you can kind of interpret when listening to her dialogue. When you do think of it that way, it really does get you thinking, because it doesn't sound like that she's going to be gone forever. This is a start, and she plans to make amends and rectify mistakes. However, some of this is slightly contradicted towards the end of the dialogue, where she says that she knows what her last mission is to ensure that the weapon in particular learns from Cortana's mistakes, and that she chose well, Master Chief. In these final moments, I know what my last mission is. I need to make sure you two learn from my mistakes, become stronger because of them. I chose well, Master Chief. I really did. Now, it's up to you. So, when breaking it down, yes, there are some open-ended parts which could lead to her potentially coming back. I mean, guys, come on, she basically died in Halo 4, and we thought that that was the end completely, but then she was back in Halo 5 in full force. Who's to say she won't be back again, right? After all, she sacrificed herself, but if she's still a part of the Forerunner domain, she could still be alive. 
We don't know how she sacrificed herself or we don't even know if she did sacrifice herself. Although she does say that that was her final mission. So again, interpreting that in some different ways, it potentially means that she won't have a main role in the story or a main role in the Halo universe anymore. But her mission might be over to do what she was doing, which was trying to form the created army to take over the mantle of responsibility from humanity's AIs. But that might not mean that she's gone forever. Moving on to some ways that I think Cortana could return in Halo Infinite. Do I think that she'll be back as a main character? No. And I'd be very surprised if she would. Do I think that she'll be referred to and maybe show up in some holograms here and there or even some audio logs? Absolutely. Cortana has been in Halo lore and the Halo universe since the very first seconds of the first game in 2001. She was introduced to the player even before the Chief was introduced to us. She is such a pivotal part of the Halo universe and she will not just be gone forever. Cortana will still be mentioned and she will have a part to play in the universe no matter what people think or no matter what people want. You can't just kill off a character as important as Cortana and with so much history and expect them to never be mentioned again in the lore. A few examples of this. Cortana literally had her own army, the Created, with a load of Guardians ready at the click of a finger. What happened to them? What happened to all of the AIs that joined her army? This is the sort of things that I'm thinking about right now. I don't think that it's just over. There's so many different parts that are moving within her story that are still ongoing at the moment that we still don't have answers to. There are a couple of books coming out this year. Maybe the, some of those will detail some of the bits. I mean, the one at the end of the year, which includes the Arbiter, is around Cortana's created army and a war on Sanghelio. So maybe we'll learn a little bit more around it in that book. But for the story, but in terms of the game and the way that lore and the story goes, there's still a lot of questions that we have, and I don't think that her story is finished. I mean, also, what will happen to all the factions that were running and trying to hide? Even those ones that were impacted by her actions. What will happen to them? And this is why I think that she'll still make an appearance in Halo Infinite's DLC in some capacity. As I mentioned multiple times, she doesn't have to be a main character. It's not something that, that she will literally drive the plot. It can literally just be her giving information or in a hologram or in an audio log or something like that where she's still involved in the story but isn't playing a main part i think that's how cortana will still be in the universe i don't think as i mentioned she'll be like an atriox or even like she was in halo infinite or halo 5 that's not what i'm saying i think she'll play a side role in terms of her involvement in the story and that's how i think they will that 343 are going to portray cortana going forward i think we'll see cortana in flashbacks holograms pre-recorded cutscenes like the ones from infinite almost like flashbacks in general but of course she won't actually be there it'll probably be her in the past or conversations that she'd have that we hadn't heard before i think we'll also see audio logs and potentially holograms with her in them and that will be what we see in dlc one this is how i think cortana will still go on in the halo universe as mentioned not a key role but a support character one that gives you additional information and fills the gaps but doesn't have a direct impact on the story in any way at all the weapon will now take that role on whatever her new name might be. So, what's the final verdict here? I think Cortana will be back in Halo Infinite as mentioned. I don't think she's gone for good at all, and I do think that she will still play a key part in the Halo universe. However, do I think she'll play the role of a main character? No. I think she'll be a support character where she only gives you information or fills in those gaps from the story that we don't know so far. Anyway, let me know what you think down below, guys. I'd be very interested to know. I know this is a very controversial topic and not everyone likes to have a conversation about this and everyone's very adamant they don't want Cortana back, but I just think it's very difficult to get rid of her completely and I don't think it's the right thing to do because there's going to be so many questions that we have about the conflict, her army, what happened to them, what is, is that it? So she's able to roam the universe, destroy loads of different species and wipe out different worlds, planets send guardians to different locations and that's it she's just defeated and gone forever she doesn't care about anything else she has one nice thing to say to the chief and after that that's it she doesn't care about anything else or whatever whoever what everyone else thinks there's no way there's no way that happens so i i do think that they've left it very open-minded and very open plans for anything in the future for Cortana to to come back in some capacity but hope you enjoyed this video guys and i hope you've got a new perspective on this topic if you have sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel It'd be much appreciated ring the notification bell to be notified when the video does go live but have a great rest of your day guys take care everyone and i'll speak to you all soon